everybody, this is Mahoney. Um, just doing another vlog here for you guys. Uh, I know I, I've been kind of touch and go on this for those few out there that actually look at the videos. <laughs> um, but I, you know, like I said in the last one, I, I had some some problems, you know, switching up medications, taking some out, which is awesome. Fucking cut down the pharmaceuticals like massive. Um, and uh, I'm feeling fucking awesome. I even shaved my damn face, sort of. But uh, yeah, you know, I, I I wanted to thank all of you out there that have been really supportive. A lot of you guys out there with your comments and, and personal messages to me. Um, I, re I really, really appreciate that. Um, so, thank you very much. Um, so, what's going on? What's going on in my brain? Well, I have tons of shit going on in my brain right now. Um, I have a friend moving out from Wichita, Texas. Going to be here soon. We're going to rock it up and down the West Coast. Um, I'm working on my strain. I need to get them transplanted, but uh, what I'm also waiting on right now is uh, a place to move to. Um, I'm kind of in a situation here where uh, I need to be out and about, but I'm also trying to uh, to grow this plant that I've been breeding for the last eight plus years. And, and seed them out properly and, and, and at least get some decent uh, hash out of it afterwards. You know, so um, as you guys know, I'm, I'm real big on, on medical standards as far as uh, cannabis goes. So, um, you know, bugs and crap, stuff like that, uh, doesn't really bother me as much as like molds and things if that happens. Um, haven't had any issues outdoor out here. In fact, the only problems in California, in my area, is the heat. Sometimes uh, plants get really hot. And you can tell when they're hot because their leaves will be pointing almost straight up to the sun. And uh, that's just them trying to cool themselves off. Um, you can even move them down here into the shade and they're still going to get plenty of light. Uh, so uh, that was good. Uh, indoors is the one I'm worried about. And when I'm pollinating plants, it's always indoors. I, I well, in, in the industry, we call bagging it off. I uh, seal up a room with a PVC foil or a plastic of some sort. Uh, and I put the plants in there with enough light just to get them through the flowering cycle. Uh, and when I say flowering cycle, I also mean the male flowers, the little yellow flowers, uh, little bananas that pop out and release that pollen. Um, as I said before, I'm going through and kind of picking out the phenotypes I, I, I like and trying to just uh, breed those ones together to try and hone it down out of the three distinct ones that I've, I've seen personally. Um, could always use second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth opinions, but uh, we can always do that on my other channel, um, which you could probably find quite easily just looking for Casa del Loki, or just look for Loki Gen. Um, it's uh, yeah, my thing. But, uh, today is an interesting day. Today's going to decide whether I get a place to stay or if we're going to be living on the road. Uh, it doesn't sound as, I mean, it sounds bad living on the road, but it's not. It's not as bad uh, as it sounds. But what I want to do is I have several things uh, that we are, are, are trying to get up and running. And um, not just organic cannabis, you know, medical grade cannabis, but we have organic farms too. And uh, we, we sell botanicals, Asian botanicals mostly, but we get exotic plants from all over the world. Um, coffees and teas and, you know, Mitrogena speciosa, Capis banisteriopsis, and uh, Chacruna, all coming. 
Um, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to touch base with everybody and let everyone know what's kind of going on in my head. So, the plan is, ideally, if we can set it up to where we just kind of go out for two, three weeks, hit from San Diego up to L.A., come home, do our thing, go back out, go from L.A., you know, up to uh, San Francisco, and, and continue all the way up uh, to Hempfest in Washington, Seattle, Washington. Um, I have friends out there, um, people that have been working on Hempfest with, with all of us since the beginning, since, since over at Gasworks Park, number one. Um, you know, and, and uh, I, I, I really want to get there and get to the compassion tent, get to the patients. I know it's, it's legal completely in Washington now, and for me this is exciting because this is going to be the first hemp fest where, I mean, yeah, the, the uh, police were extremely tolerant of hemp fest. Good people, Seattle Police Department, good, good people. Um, you know, if, if you weren't breaking the law, they overlooked it. But if you're out there just trying to be a, you know, piece of shit, well, you get what you deserve, man. But uh, this year, I'm fucking curious, man. I want to see this. I want I want to walk into the haze of smoke of some, like, 50,000 people and just see if I get fucking played. So if that happens, check my other channel because uh, we're going to be we're going to be filming it, and I might even stream a lot of it live. Um, so hopefully we can make it up there. Hopefully we can we can also hit the Cannabis Cafe, Oregon Normals Cannabis Cafe, Madeline, hello, Big Ralph, Little Ralph. I hope everyone's doing good. Um, yeah, so that's exciting. Uh, the other possibility is. <clears throat> I might save up a little bit of money and earn a little bit of money working for my family. Anyways, uh, yeah, if that happens, then, you know, I'm, I'm basically the, the mouth and handshaker and the kiss ass that gets to go and find these exotic botanicals and uh, work out a deal with people who will probably be carrying a machete or a collision of cough 1947. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I might hit some place like, like Portugal or Morocco for herbs and spices. Um, we're thinking of maybe going to Turkey. Uh, you know, and then, and then taking a little bit of a um, a business social venture, business social venture into the EU, you know, Holland and Czech Republic and Germany and France and Spain. They've got a lot of botanicals there too. It's not like I just want to go there and fucking hang out at the beach on a visa. The visa's lovely, by the way. Um, so that's, that's what we're looking at right now, um, and I'm, I'm excited either way, uh, so it's given me purpose, God. Uh, I want to do the first thing more than I want to do the second thing, but the second thing is going to give me a little more stability, because I'm going to be spending someone else's money. It's just family. But, um... I like doing my own thing, man. Fuck this shit. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm going to talk to my bro when he gets out here from Wichita. And we're going to see what we, we do. I mean, you know, get our passports and shit in order just in case. I mean, because even if we don't take off to, to Europe or something, there's still Mexico and Canada. And I plan on going back up to Canada, uh, you know. Uh, I want to visit Mark Emery's wife and say hello and, and, and meet Jason Wilcox in person finally and, and just check out the scene up there because Canada's been been you know right there with us in the run. In fact, we've looked at Canada a couple, numerous times on how they regulate their cannabis up there. Things are getting a little wonky, I hear, 
but they're starting to lighten up, seeing how us, the U.S., aren't being such stuffy assholes anymore <laughs> about it. We're starting to uh, use our brains, and and the empirical evidence that's coming in is undeniable. So um, I think what they're looking for right now, as far as the government, as far as uh, the AMA and, and the FDA and all those guys, is they're looking for a middle ground. And that's understandable. Personally, um, I think that if it's a medical grade, it, it should be regulated. You should be able to get it through either your doctor or have your insurance paid for it. If it's for recreation, I think everyone should be able to grow whatever they want. I mean, it's a plant, right? It's, it's not like, uh, for me, it just seems strange because with cannabis, you know, the worst you can do, I mean, the, the, the most hardcore you can do is you can extract this cannabis into a shatter or a honeycomb hash and fucking put it in food and eat a bunch of it and pass out and wake up with the munchies or really needing some water. Whereas it's perfectly legal to grow poppies or even coca plants if you can get them to grow. Um, it's even legal to possess coca leaves. Now, poppies make heroin and coca leaves make cocaine, but no one gets in trouble for this. In fact, um, Bigelow's has a coca leaf tea for high blood pressure. So I think what they're looking at is they're looking at, um, you know processing it in something dangerous. And as those of us out here do the work for our government by vacuum purging, cleaning, uh, you know, flushing plants, going through the standardizations, you know, many of them have, have set up labs, labs entirely committed to, to breaking down what's in the canvas being brought to them and giving them a sheet that shows everything that's in it and uh, that's badass we're doing the footwork for them so um, the more we work at this together and, and bring this this empirical evidence this, this uh, truth out the more they're going to see that it's less dangerous than anything else that's perfectly legal like I don't know acetaminophen or otherwise known as, as Tylenol or uh, <laughs> ibuprofen, or in a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, and NSAID, those, those things are fucking poisons. I mean, straight up poisons. Uh, we have more people dying from aspirin overdose than we do. I, mean, we, I don't think any of In fact, I'm almost... 100%. I'm 99.99998% sure that nobody's died directly from cannabis. You know, now they've had some cases in the in the past. You know, where they're like, oh, this person was on pot and committed this heinous crime. Well, yeah, he might have smoked some pot, but he also drank half a fifth of fucking whiskey and was taking Xanax and you know, to me that's just stupidity because. Uh, drug addicts or, or addicts in general, they they always consume in large quantities. They don't have a middle ground. And that's that's not the drugs, that's that's a mental illness. Um, you know, it it's a crutch. So I don't want to get into that shit. I'm happy. Uh, so uh, yeah, when my buddy gets out from Wichita we're gonna sit down and hash this out and see the <laughs> hash. Pass this out and see what happens, and uh, see where we go with it. Wherever we go, we're going to take you guys with us, so uh, no worries there. Now, uh, I'm pretty sporadic, just like I talk, so it's E-A-D-D. -D. And I think that comes... Oh, look! A bird. Right. Anyways, um, I'm rambling now. So, for all of you out there that have been worried, don't worry, I'm hard to kill. I'm like herpes. You think I'm gone, but then I come back. Wait, I just compared myself to a frickin' venereal disease. Sobriety has some weird effects on me, man. Anyways, um, if I don't go now, I can't 
officially wake and bake because it'll be noon somewhere in that. So I think I'm going to end this here. So for those of you who've been watching and following, for those of you who subscribed, thank you. And I will continue to do this. I want to do it every day. But I'd be lying to you if I said I was going to. I don't like to deal in absolutes. I'm kind of wishy-washy. Oh, I mean, fluid. Fluid sounds good. Anyways, uh, hope everyone out there is having a great weekend. Hope everyone's having a great summer. We're going to rock it out. Either way, the end of summer, when everyone's having fun and they're done, and it's getting into the holiday season, I will be having my Harvest Festival video thing of 2013. And you guys can come and join along with me on that. That'll be on my other channel uh, at Casa de Loki. And, uh, yeah, it's always fun because everyone likes to make fun of me because I get so stoned that I, I ramble. I'm leaving now and I'm sober. Anyways, gotta go. Love you guys. Well, not you. But the rest of you. You you're an asshole. I don't like you. The rest of you, much love. Yeah, right. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of here.